First of all, I'd like to thank the organizers. It's a great pleasure to be back uh, here in Luxembourg for this conference. And it's a huge honor to, to, to give a talk here. So thank you for this. And um, I will present a joint work uh, with um, Emigius Leipus and Donata Surgeilis uh, from Vilnius University in Lithuania. A joint work about uh, aggregation of network traffic and um, anisotropic scaling of random. So, first I will introduce what aggregation of network traffic is. And uh, I will explain how and why uh, we, see, we study it as a anisotropic scaling of fields. So the random fields in this talk are very simple on the plane. And we just have independent copies of a one generic stochastic process in continuous time. So there are two classes of just generic input process. And uh, in this talk, I will focus on the first one. Uh, for the second one, I will just give examples and I will close the talk with open questions. So um, uh, motivation. <laughs> so empirical studies uh, find uh, evidence of uh, long-range dependence, heavy tails, and self-similarity in network traffic measurements. So what is the reason behind these three characteristics? And uh, a popular uh, theoretical explanation uses aggregation. So uh, we consider uh, an aggregate here denoted with um, ATN, uh, which, is, uh, which has N independent stochastic processes uh, summed pointwise and integrated over time interval zero capital T. So the inputs, these continuous time input processes, these are independent copies of a stochastic process X, generic, and we take X with long-range dependence. Now, long-range dependence, it is a persistence of dependence at distant time points. And uh, a mathematical definition most common would be uh, that's a property of a stationary X uh, with finite second moment and uh, uh, an autocovariance function decaying slowly so that it's absolutely non-integrable. So here we parametrize this uh, decay. Uh, we specify it with the parameter h between one half and one. Now um, examples of uh, of x. So in, in, in network traffic research, uh, that is an um, on-off process where we have on interval, off interval, on interval, off interval. So just the process takes two values, 0, 1. And the, the intervals, these, trans, these durations, transmission lengths, uh, they, we take them have a tail. So example, Pareto distribution with tail parameter alpha between one and two. So then these long transmissions, long durations generate, uh, give, give the long range dependence also called long memory property in X. Um, another example, it is MG infinity Q, which I will describe, uh, uh, define a later. So, but it is also the long range dependence in X comes from the long transmission lengths. So from long transmissions and uh, the, 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 the um, parameter H can be uh, written in terms of, of this uh, alpha. 
Now, for these two examples uh, of X, uh, Mikos, Resnik, and co authors, uh, Kai, and co authors, uh, uh, they study the limit distribution of properly normalized and centered aggregate. But here one looks at the aggregate as a continuous time process, so capital D, here is a time scale. Both number of independent inputs, uh, number of processes and time scale tend to infinity together. So, um, so it has been shown that this um, limit distribution, so the fluctuations can be around the mean, can be approximated either by fractional Brownian motion with Hurst index H or by alpha stable Levy motion. Uh, so two different processes, Gaussian finite second moment, alpha, so infinite second moment, dependent increments, independent increments, so very different. So there exists some critical connection rate uh, relation between, uh, between N and T uh, we're, we're for, 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 for in these studies. So we, we suggest to look into this problem as an anisotropic scaling of random fields. So the, the aggregate is now not only a process, but we also introduce T2, the small T2. It's also for the, uh, in the uh, sources for the in individual inputs there so and uh, capital T the time scale is replaced by lambda and capital N the number is, is replaced by lambda to the power gamma where gamma is strictly positive arbitrary fixed and we we, we suggest to, to study this uh, properly normalized, so beta is the normalization dependent on lambda and gamma, uh, the convergence, we convergence of finite dimensional distributions as lambda tends to infinity. So the limit v, v gamma here is a random field and it has those limiting finite dimensional distributions. So that's for, for, for one gamma and then all the other possible gammas. So for the two examples of X and uh, some others, um, so this cr critical connection rate uh, means existence of some uh, gamma zero, critical gamma zero, where the, the, the limit random field changes. So when the number of individuals uh, grows much faster than the time scale, so gamma is greater than gamma zero, the limit is fractional Brownian sheet with Hurst index. Um, otherwise, it's alpha stable Levy sheet. And we have the critical, for the critical value, we have some intermediate random field. That follows from uh, before, before mentioned works. So we are interested in the properties of this V gamma and uh, so increments if they are dependent or not, but uh, interesting properties is also scaling. And the first two limits, they enjoy the so-called multi-self similarity one can uh, there, so one can change the scale independently in the horizontal or in the vertical direction. So, but that's not true for this intermediate random field. It 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 has operator scaling property. So when we change the uh, the scale on the plane using this diagonal, let's say matrix. So. That helps to understand the properties of, 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 of the limit random fields, but more importantly, that this transition of uh, 
scaling limits be gamma. Uh, existence of a critical gamma zero has been shown for other classes of random fields with the long range dependence or negative dependence. And um, examples uh, are, for example, so one, one can also have independent copies of a, a stochastic process that is autoregressive of order one process with autoregressive parameter that is random but uh, ha is uh, concentrated near the unit root, its distribution. So such a scaling transition, so um, this, if one thinks of a sample mean of a panel data, so the limit distribution depends on the, how fast uh, the number of individuals and how fast the time scale goes to infinity, so on the direction. It has been shown for, for other random field models like linear moving average for, for, for random grain model and uh, other examples. And that's, for me, that looks quite interesting, the fact that such a simple statistics like a sample mean, uh, so spatial data, so can have a, uh, the limit distribution can be not the same uh, depending on the way how the sampling region grows to infinity. So, um, okay. So in this talk, the, the, the field is very, uh, <laughs> so it's very simple. We have independent copies of a process X and we have two classes. The first class is a Poisson short noise input. So we have a real line and on this real line, TJs, those are a homogeneous Poisson point process. So the arrival times. Each arrival, we have a pulse a function v w j. So those are uh, independent copies of some generic uh, w, so of some generic pulse. And um, of course, there are some other assumptions, and I will say that later. Another so another example the the second so another class the second class is um, regenerative input where now the uh, times between arrivals are not exponential anymore but uh, they follow the distribution of z which is Pareto like with alpha between one and two so the Pulses also, they, 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 we have regeneration, so they got, get cut. They, they cannot overlap uh, like in the first class, so they get cut at the new arrival. And uh, the choice of uh, W0 and T0 is such that X is stationary. So now our aim in this work and uh, and this talk is to, 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 to find, to suggest some simple general conditions on, on, on the process X to guarantee uh, that we have the, uh, this uh, scaling of the uh, anisotropic scaling, uh, so uh, limits either fractional brown and sheet or alpha stable uh, Levy sheet or some intermediate. And, and of course, to, to find some new examples that satisfy these assumptions, these conditions. Now, class one, so Poisson short noise class, and uh, the arrivals are Poissonian. Now, the, uh, the pulse function example here has um, independent, uh, so length r of the transmission, and uh, independent rate, uh, so, so this is a, these two variables. We, uh, we have that 
R admits, uh, so it has a Pareto-like distribution with rho as the tail index, and the A uh, needs to have a moment uh, greater strictly than two. So independent transmission rate and length. In case A, A, the transmission rate is one, we end up counting the number of clients in the system. Uh, so the, this is then X, the, the, the process is known as MG infinity Q. So generic distribution for the service that is R and uh, infinitely many servers and uh, well, well known in queuing theory. So uh, new examples that we have in the first class so uh, we, we, we allow the, the transmission rate uh, to depend on time. And we, we have here now this factor, so it, it depends not only on T, but it's exponentially damped transmission rate. If one makes assumption that the same about R that we had before and about A that it has a particular, so also power law uh, behavior density at, at, at zero, then one also gets this uh, different scaling limits and uh, this would be the parameters that define them. H, alpha, critical gamma zero, um, the normalization. Uh, another example that we find uh, suggest in our work, so that is the Brownian pulse. So again, Poisson arrivals, but uh, the pulses are bra independent Brownian paths and they are cut at R. So it also a uh, new model. Now, the theorem, the conditions that we have, so we, we, we study X, uh, as, so it's very, very nice to write it down as a stochastic integral with respect to Poisson random measure, then one has um, its uh, explicit characteristic function and one can study the convergence of distributions of finite dimensional distributions. So, uh, we do <laughs> we do it in such a way. So the the, the theorem that we have is um, so the, uh, we take gamma and we ask what is the condition that the limit random field B gamma is a fractional Brownian sheet with a specific Hurst index H one half. And uh, the condition is for the generic input to have long-range dependence on certain Lepunov condition, this huge uh, uh, limit, the second <laughs> formula. Um, not very surprising, but uh, uh, so just uh, maybe to, to remind you again, the fractional Brownian sheet with this Hurst index, so it is a Gaussian random field with zero mean, in horizontal direction we have, so when we look at autocovariance function, so in horizontal direction we have a Brownian, fractional Brownian motion with Hurst index H, and in the vertical direction we have a Brownian motion. So all is well the, the, the specified. Uh, next we, we ask for, the given gamma, uh, what simple conditions can we suggest to, to, to say that the limit random field V gamma is alpha stable Levy sheet? And it seems that the crucial thing here is to look at the integral of the uh, pulse function. And um, this integral needs to belong to the first two uh, probabilities, it means that it belongs to the uh, normal domain of attraction of an alpha stable distribution. Second condition is the, uh, it's also important but less, uh, on the 
decay of the moments of the pulse function. So I will. I see <laughs> that I'm I, I'm slow, but so I I will not spend so much time on the inter on the conditions which give the intermediate random field, but the, the they come actually from the work by Taku and Pipiras, and uh, uh, maybe the main message is that this intermediate random field is has infinitely divisible distributions and one can write it in terms of uh, compens so with, with respect to Poisson random measure stochastic integral. Um, so this is the example of intermediate random field for, for the MG infinity Q. And uh, so it is in the literature it is termed the telecom random field. Uh, and the same intermediate random field was obtained for an on-off process, where on-off process is uh, an example of the second uh, of the second class. So uh, that was the question. Also, if if we always get the same, and uh, the answer is actually no. And this. This now in the uh, well, <laughs> uh, example, so, so on off is in the second class, and there is this new example which takes the same pulse function we've seen before, exponentially damped transmission rate, independent of the transmission length, um, but uh, now they are spaced out, these pulses, the, uh, the, 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 uh, and here, the same assumptions, the limit random fields, even though they, the, those are the same fractional brown and sheet, alpha stable Levy sheet, and uh, some intermediate, but they are the, the, the parameters are really different. Um, yes. So, what are the open questions? So, the second class is much more difficult to study. And we could only make it for the uh, for the input process, which is bounded. Uh, another thing, we could only make it for the intermediate uh, random field that is a telecom random field. We we don't have a, a general. We could just prove it to this one. Um, other questions, so. Can we have regular variation? So the, the, the more general than Pareto-like, can we have slowly varying general function there? Uh, in, 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 in the conditions, also the assumption about second finite moment is question and of course functional convergence uh, of, on the R2. So, but in general, I, I think it's as a phenomenon itself, it's quite interesting not only for these specific processes to study uh, sums uh, over, so to study spatial data with long range dependence. So, thank you for, for, for your attention. <laughs>